Mitchell's already in trouble here in round one. First time we've seen this kind of adversity in his career. He's hurt worse than I think he even realizes. The legs are gone. The legs are wobbling for sure. My name is Seth Mitchell, boxer. Nickname is Seth Mayhem Mitchell. I was an aggressive linebacker, always been involved in athletics. Currently 24-0-1, 18 knockouts. I'm excited about my career. The future is bright for me. Seth, he is not a person I believe who's passionate or even very much in love with boxing. But he sees this sport as a, as a means to uh, take care of his family and to put away college education for his young children. Let him go. You're an athlete in a full contact sport. How has that been an advantage for you? As far as coming over from football into boxing, it teaches you discipline. It teaches you to respect your opponents. You're going to train right. You're going to have, you know, that desire, you know, that hunger. What surprises my opponents is my athleticism and my, uh, my quickness and my speed and my power. They underestimate my boxing IQ. I just love knowing that if you get to where you want to go, you can go hang out with 100 football players, <laughs> even Aaron Rodgers, and you're going to be the star. <laughs> That's what I like. <laughs> you know, people ask me, well, what would be more, you know, fulfilling or satisfying if I had won a Super Bowl or become became heavyweight champion of the world? And I, without a doubt, I had no question. champion of the world. Heavyweight champion, mm -hmm. come on. They say I, I got the looks, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling out there, fight fans? And first on the scale, from Philly, PA, Chaz Witherspoon. 231 and a half for Chaz Witherspoon. And tomorrow night, he'll be taking on undefeated heavyweight, the Spartan out of Michigan State, Seth Mitchell. 241 and a half for Mitchell. I'm excited to see how this fight is going to uh, turn out. I believe that I'll be victorious, you know, but uh, I'm ready to go one round of 12 rounds. I'm feeling ready, you know, got a little jitterbugs, a little, a little nervous, but uh, I'm ready to go. I concur on the jitterbugs, that's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's always the same feeling. It never gets any easier. It's always very unnerving until it's over. It has nothing to do with not feeling confident. It's just, I think it's just the nature of the beast. So I'll be happy when it's all over and he's done what he came to do. I like fight day. It's time to do what you've been trained to do. It's time to shine. It's, it's time to see that the athlete put all that work in. Now he, sees, he has to go in there and implement it. Jazz with a good right hand right on the chin. Wobbled Mitchell for a second. The hardest thing I would say about boxing is learning to relax and initially take them punches upside your head. Mitchell's already in trouble here in round one. It's different from any other sport. When somebody hits you in your head as hard as they can and you see them lights come on and that feeling go down from your head down to your toes and you feel like a shot go down through you. That's the worst round of Seth Mitchell's professional career so far. You got to lock him up when you get hurt. Grab him, tie him up. You're standing in one spot. Get your hand. You got your hands up, but you got to move your upper torso. He got a long way to come back from that. He ain't never been there before. 
Mitchell really showing something coming back from that beating in the first round to do this so far. This is a man-sized fight between man-sized fighters who are going after each other very aggressively. Much more even round than round number one. Seth Mitchell's nickname is Mayhem. He was the victim of mayhem in round one. He brought some mayhem back in round two. Seth Mitchell, with a trainer not previously exposed to the national scene, appears to have an extraordinarily fast learning curve. And that learning curve is ongoing right now in the ring. Brilliant body punting. This is going to end badly for Taz Witherspoon, it appears. He's out on his feet, and Randy Newman stops the fight. What a tremendous performance by Seth Mitchell. To become the next heavyweight champion of the world, it's a, it's a big deal for me because this is what I set out to do when I decided to box. This is what I do to support my family, but it's secondary to them. If it weren't for them, I don't know if I would have the same drive, the same motivation. After the fight is over, my whole mind goes to them, and you know, I did it for y'all.